If you're wondering where I got a hat with uh, Joseph Payne still on it, well, uh, well, I'm not telling you. We're tackling lineups today. Um, I'm unsure still as to what we're doing, but I've built out what I think is going to be my final draft. It's like the sixth draft, and I'm going to put them into so rare and talk about the lineups as we build them. Now, the next couple of weeks, I think, will be a massive learning curve for everybody. And the reason why I say that is because I don't think anybody really knows what they're doing. Apart from if you know what you're doing, then you fucking weirdo, really, aren't you? So we'll go in the order that so rare kind of presents it. Now, I don't have a Premier League classic or in-season team in Super Rare this week. I actually probably could put one together, but my matchups don't have me confident with it, if that makes sense. So, um... We're going to avoid that. We are going to go with our two classic rare teams. Well, technically one classic rare team. One of them is an actual decent team. The other one absolutely sucks. But we're going with Onana Varan. By the way, hopefully Lissandro Martinez is back soon as well, which is really exciting because that'd be great. Onana Varan, um, Scott McTominay, Anthony Gordon, and uh, Daniel Munoz. There he is. So that is going to be our Div 2 classic season rare team uh we're gonna captain anthony gordon and that is gonna be our classic team um it's not a very good team i know it's not my two premier league teams are both pretty awful um so let's go and make our second classic season premier league team this one again is a complete throwaway because we've got jason Steele in goal against liverpool and he very likely doesn't actually even play it's complete throwaway but I just want to throw my players in just in case because these are all players that I had left over. Um, now, you probably sat there wondering, Ryan, Ivan Tony, good player, decent matchup. He's at home. Why are you not playing him? It's all about how I play this game. I Tony might cook, but the thing is, I don't have anywhere to put him that doesn't contradict other lineups. If he scores, it kills another lineup. You see what I'm saying? So, like... It's better not to put him in a lineup. Like, I, I would have put him into this lineup here. But if he scores, it's against Onana, who concedes and loses the clean sheet. You see what I'm saying? So, like, they contradict each other. They battle each other out. That kind of is exactly why Ivan Tony's in this kind of throwaway team, which should have at least four, maybe five starters. I actually think Jason Steele will start against Liverpool. Don't think he'll do very well at Anfield against Liverpool. But, you know, we still have something out of it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, I mean it's the way i make my lineups all right just tr trust the process uh champion now um we are going to go with what should we start with in champion we'll do our classic super rare team in champion uh we have a classic div 2 super rare team here with neto angelino angelino there you go pablo sarabs uh leroy zane and it is antoine griezmann again a lot of people are probably sat there thinking, this lineup, Ryan, kind of sucks. You've got, you know, Angelino in the same lineup as Griezmann. It doesn't make sense, mate. The issue is, like, my defender situation at the moment is just awful. The only other scenario I could do here, realistically, is probably play uh, Nicolas Zule there, but he's against Bayern. Again, those two will contradict each other. Doesn't really make sense. The lineup, I know the lineup seems like it's decent. Here's the thing. Griezmann's not guaranteed to start. He's still recovering from an ankle injury. And he's got a not amazing away game. Um, Palace Arabi has got a tough away game. Neto's at home to Everton, which is not a terrible fixture. But again, it's, like, uh, it's, it's the way I've done my lineups, basically, guys. It's, this could be a lot of learning over the next couple of weeks. All right? That's all I can say. Uh, my Div 1 champion in-season team is going to be as follows. This is a very good... Very, very good lineup I'm excited about. We've got Okoye and Goal against Sassuolo, uh, who haven't been great at all, and they don't have their star man, Berardi. Um, so I think, like, even if he doesn't keep a clean sheet, we could get some really good AA. Then we've gone with Diogo Dallo in a defensive spot. We have got Douglas Luiz. We've got Orsolini at home to Salaritana, who are bottom of the Serie A and terrible and Tony Cruz. Now, the only thing here is I'm unsure who to captain. We've got Tony Cruz at home to Athletic Club. I think he's the option, but also Lini definitely has 100 potential. I think Douglas we oh, we're going to captain Tony Cruz. I trust Tony Cruz. We'll captain Tony Cruz. That's my Division 1 champion in season rare team. Now, my Division 2 champion season rare team is going to be Mike Mignon 
it's going to be Dante, because unfortunately, Teo Hernandez is, I think, yellow card suspended this game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can actually have a look at that, can't we? I mean, I trust the uh, play sharper guy here. Uh, yeah, he is. He's uh, yellow card suspended, unfortunately, uh, which is not ideal. So, um, yeah, we'll go with Dante, who I won, who is an absolute stud sometimes. So, very, very good potential there. Just double check that I saw. Um, I did see Ruben Loftus cheek there as well. I don't like, I usually do my own research, and I have done quite a lot of research this week as well. But I just, for some reason, second guess myself on a Thursday evening. It just always happens. Uh, and then the last player is going to be Jean Nicolas Bester with quite a tough matchup away to Stuttgart. But he has been getting some really nice scores away from home recently. Do I captain Pulisic or do I captain Loftus cheek? I'm going to captain Pulisic, I think. He's been in really good form. Don't, I didn't see how he did with, with the uh, American team. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I need to register a new team here, don't I? In-season rare, add a team. Oh, wow. There we go. Okay. And then we have uh, another in-season champion team, which is going to be Alex Mere in goal. Unai Nunez, who has a really, really good matchup here against Rayo Vallecano at home as well. We have got Joshua Walter Kimmich. We have got Martin Terrier, and we have got Jonathan Bamba. Jonathan Bamba! Da, da. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Jonathan Bamba, and I'm going to captain... I kind of... Like, captain's a tough one here. I'm going to captain Bamba. I was going to captain Kimmich, but Kimmich, uh, you know, home to Dortmund. It's going to be a tough one, I think. Bamba's got a better matchup. We'll go ahead and captain Bamba. And that is going to be my champion in-season teams. Now, do I have some classic, classic champion teams? Or I have, I think... One classic champion team. I think I might only have one, and it's not a great lineup to be fair. I just realized, by the way, uh, in one of my in season teams that I put in Pulisic, and it's actually supposed to be oh, I've done all this wrong. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, no, we can fix this. Don't you worry, don't panic, do not panic. All right, it's actually supposed to be Alejandro Garnacho and uh, Van Hecker in this lineup with Garnacho captained. That's what it's supposed to be. Getting really confused, apologies. It's so confusing still. I think everyone's in the same boat as me where it's just getting incredibly confusing still. Uh, then we have got Unai Simon, we have got Mark Pubil, we have got uh, Ocampos as well. This one is definitely like more of a throwaway, to be honest. Um, and we've got Jean Nicolas Bester. But look at this lineup. I'm going to change something straight away, actually. I'm going to change my Cap 240 team. Change it up because of this lineup. And I'll be back in a second. All right, things have just been changed. I've deleted that PL lineup. I know, this is crazy, but this is, you know what? I'm, I don't mind it. This is just how I operate. So I'm kind of glad that we've got this on film. Uh, so I basically, I'll talk you through what's happened. I made lineups in a certain order that made other lineups suboptimal so what we can now do here and this will probably you know make people that are probably unhappy that i didn't use ivan tony in a, in a decent lineup a little bit happier we have now a champion classic season team where we've managed to get i know i've got three super airs in there i literally don't have the super airs to play them in a super air team so now we've got three super airs in my champion team but we've actually got a, a you know a half decent classic team the only issue is they've all got tough matchups but that's not a huge issue um because i'm not expecting a huge amount now a lot of people will be sit there thinking you should probably put that to team two uh, sorry into div two um and i actually think i agree with you because at least then or, or even maybe i put that into div three um classic season we'll put it into div three and the reason why i'm going to put that into div three is because it's a bad team anyway and i don't want to get sort of demoted down from uh div one or div two because of because i literally couldn't field a decent team if that makes sense um let's have a look so ivan tony clement longley it makes a lot more sense here this is gonna be such a weird video people are gonna be wondering why but if, welcome to my brain um I've, I'm going to put that into a low division because that's a bad team. And I'd rather not get uh, relegated from good divisions. Like this this Div 1 team's decent. This Div 2 team is decent. This Div 4 team is meh. This Div 4 team is pretty bad. This Div 2 team could get relegated to be fair, but I'm going to risk it. Um, we're going to run that. All right, let's go back into our lineups and uh, we go again. God, this is so confusing. I'm going to do my All-Star next because I want to talk through All-Star as well. I think a lot of people, like, this is the thing, right? All-Star only pays Antipodium now. Uh, a lot of people are going to be prioritizing their best players 
in all star but a lot of people are going to be prioritizing their best players into um into cat modes a lot of people will be prior prioritizing the best players into uh regionals i'm going to be mixing it all up the reason i'm putting probably my best five team into this all-star uh team here because like i could use bruno fernandez for example and make i don't know one of my in-season teams stronger or my classic team stronger but i think he's better used in all-star in a strong five-man team then the strength, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. And I almost, I'm going to try to word this better. I think the strength he brings to one single lineup isn't as good as the strength he brings to this lineup, if that makes sense. So, uh, and again, like, I think the next few weeks are all going to be a massive learning curve. So I think that's also a big thing. We're going to be huge learning curves here. Um, wait, you can add another rare team? Oh, no, you can only have one team. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so I just... Anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, we're going to go with the MLS Special Weekly teams now, uh, just because, again, these are teams I'm very excited about. So we've got Steve Clark. We have got Mickey Yamane. We have got Ricky Bouge, brand new purchase for myself. We have got Joseph Painsill, and we have got Mark Delgado. This is team one. Now, I'm going to captain Pooge here. This is a cracking team. Uh, I'm really excited. I sadly can't watch this because I've got a game on Sunday morning and they play at half three in the morning on Saturday. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I can't, sadly cannot watch, uh, cannot watch that. We're going to go with MLS Weekly Numero Dos, which is going to be Hugo Lloris. We have then got uh, Mickey Imane again because I have two Mickey Imanes. We've got Mateusz Klich. We have got Christian Benteke, cheeky little link up for the uh, for the uh, DC United boys, and then our last player is actually Aaron Long to fit the cap perfectly uh, of 280. That literally fits the cap perfectly. That's another, I think, strong MLS lineup. We have got uh, decent matchups for pretty much everyone here. I think that's another strong lineup. I, I, as you can see, my priority this week is definitely MLS. Third and final lineup is going to be Maxime Crepio. We have then got Yoshida from LA Galaxy. We have got Christian Roldan. We have got... Ooh, do I use Rui Diaz or Klaus? I'm going to use... Rui Diaz or Klaus? That's a tough one. I might use Klaus. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to stick to my guns and use Rui Diaz there. And then we're going to run uh, Mikael. Wherever he is. There he is. Mikael. Now, captain choice in this one's tough. Um... It'd make the most sense to captain Rui Diaz here, but also, like, if he scores, it could ruin the scores of my main team as well. So it's like, if he doesn't score, I'm not... Uh, you know what? We'll captain Rui Diaz. At least then if he does score, it doesn't completely ruin everything because this lineup then has a little bit of a chance because actually all three lineups, I think, are quite good. Um, so that is pretty cool there. We've also got cat modes to do as well. God, this is so confusing. Uh, we'll do Captain 40 Super Rare next. Again, another really, really strong lineup in my opinion. We've got, uh, in goal, we have got Lars Unestal. Then we have got Rubin Prupper, Gismal. Uh, we'll go with Leo Mikic. Oh, I'm in Captain 20. Oh my God, that was close. Kienel. Flipping heck. Captain 40. There we go. All right. Cap Captain 40 Rare. Uh, no, what am I doing? Okay, I'm doing it all wrong. Give me a moment. Let me compose myself real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get I'm going to put in my uh, white caps team. God, this is all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. I do apologise to everyone. Um, where's Krylak? Where is he? Krylak, 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 Krylak. There he is. Uh, we're going to run that. I think. Um, do I really want to use anyone else here? I could use Cubas. I could use. I don't think Brian White's going to play because he got. He, I think he's got concussion. Could use Mateus Laborda as well. You know what? I'm going to use Laborda. I'm going to. I'm going to use Laborda. I'm going to go double defensive stack here because they're against Portland Timbers, who aren't great offensively. I know they've. You know they've scored goals and stuff like that, but I've watched them and they don't look great. Anyway, now we're going to do Cap 240. We go Cap 240. Uh, I clicked on that because look, they got the super rare card there because they've done it because it's broken. All right, there we go. Cap 240 super rare. We have got Big Lars Unestol. We have then got man like Hismal. Then we have got uh, Leo Mikic. We've got Joseph Painter, who's, I think, a cheek at 48 points. And then Robin Proper. Where are you? Robin Proper. There we go. We've got one point to spare. And I'm going to captain big Robin Props. The captain of FC Twente. Great home game against Heracles. Great home game for Joseph Painter. Uh, good home game for Leo Mikic. There we go. We're going to go for the 400 points, $320. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, submit that. And then we'll go Cap 240 Rare this time. And our Cap 240 Rare team is going to be... 
Ulrich can go. I feel like I've wasted Ulrich zero here. I'm not going to lie, but I cannot make anything really work. That makes sense, you know. Uh, we'll go Felix Bakker. We'll go with Igor Postyonsky. Then we'll go with uh, Christian Pulisic. This is, how I, this is how I changed things up earlier. And then we've got Bester as well. Uh, and I'm going to run that in Cap 240 rare. I'm going to go for the 340 point total as well. Um, the reason why I've done it this way is because ultimately, I think... Um, I don't have the sort of contender pieces to make sense. So it makes sense to use them two players in uh, a global comp, which is obviously cat modes in this case. And also I just think like, I don't know, I feel like what it's hard to get $80 anywhere else, man. Like $80 would be great or $320 would be great. Um, if both of those hit and we make $400, it's hard to get $400 on this platform in the new, in the new system. So yeah, we're going to run that. Uh, then we are going to go ahead and we will start on our challenger teams, which I don't, I don't have many challenger teams. We've got an in-season, in-season, oh, we'll do, you know what? We'll do all-star super air first, actually. Uh, and I'll talk about all-star super air. I'll talk you through it. So all-star super air. Uh, we have gone with possibly my strongest super air lineup here. We're going to go with Zetera. Then we're going to go with Munoz. Then we're going to go with uh, the GOAT, Julian Dessart. Then we're going to go with Magnus Matson and Leon Bailey. Now, uh, the reason why I am running this team in All-Star Super Rare and not splitting them up into other comps is because, first of all, I don't have enough goalies. And second of all, uh, I think it's got a great chance of a reward and an in-season Super Rare reward will help anywhere else. So that's why I want to play that there because I think he's got a good chance of getting a reward in All-Star Super Rare. Uh, then we're going to move on to finally Challenger, which is, I think, the last of our lineups now in Challenger. Uh, I don't have a Super Rare team this week. I do have an in-season team, which do I think this team can compete in Div 1? I actually do. I might be a bit delusional. A lot of these lineups are going to think, Ryan, these can't compete. And you're probably right. But... Let me cook. That's what I say. Let me cook. We're going to go with... Pa pa oh, actually, you know, who, who is Twan Zabie's two games real quick? Blackburn and Southampton. Ooh. I mean, he's definitely going to play on one of them. Sorry, I'm not even using him in this line. I just thought I'd have a look. Uh, we'll go with Thorgy, Thorgy Hazards. Then we'll go with uh, Klaus here, because I think he'll actually do quite well. Uh, then we've got a choice of who we want to go with in the, in, in the sort of last stages of this. I could go with literally anyone here. Uh, I'm going to go with, I think... Who do I want to go with? We will go with uh, we'll go with who I originally went with Griffin Dorsey. I could go with Twan Zebe here as well, um, but I'm going to go with Griffin Dorsey. I think I think Twan Zebe is a good shout, but we're going to go with Dorsey. I think he's going to score well, and I think Paul Toler is going to score well as well. Then we have a classic season team again. Do I think this team is good enough to compete in Div One? No, I don't. I'm going to put it into Div Two. I think I'm going to save Div One. We do have a really good matchup for Ghent, but then I'm using uh, Sadlek um islam slimani i could use shuffleberg there to be fair am i using shuffleberg anywhere else i'm not using shuffleberg anywhere else i could shuffleberg against the crew or slimani against um luven i mean i'm not gonna lie to you luven suck i know i could have looked at this before but we'll do it on camera anyway um I'm just looking at who he kind of scores well against. It's usually not that many people. He didn't really start that many games, to be honest. I picked up Schaffelberg because I I watched a few games where I liked him. Like, I do a lot of eye test kind of buys, and he was one of them. But, like, looking at his stats, I don't think I want him in this lineup. I think he's a decent player, but... Until he starts nailing down that starting spot, I don't think I can trust him. Uh, and then the last one is going to be Chal, is going to be the boy himself, Brian Hainan. Okay, I don't really know how to captain him. I'm going to captain Sadalek because he's a super rare. <laughs> all right, uh, is that all my challenger ones? That is all my challenger ones. And then we have got, after that, some more cap modes. We've got cap 270 and cap 220 rare. Yeah, yeah. All right, cap 270 rare is going to be Martin van der Voort. Oh, I have used Twan Zebe. I used Twan Zebe here, actually. Twan Zebe, uh, Adrian Rabio. Where is the boy? Rabio. There you are. Uh, we'll go with uh, Yamada, because I don't have any other, like, forwards, really, that can that I can rely on to actually play. That's that's not Yamada, mate. That is not Yamada. Can confirm that's not Yamada. That's not your mother. Yamada. Sorry. Uh, and then we'll go with uh, Jackson Reagan. He gave away a penalty last game and really let me down, so he better fucking not this time. If he lets me down again, I'm poor. Let's just say that there will be serious consequences. Where even is he? There he is. Um, 
just to object to be honest i could actually change this up a little bit we do have kit shelly available who i think is probably better than some of these players um i'm just thinking now in hindsight do i change things up a little bit because i changed up the cap 240 which gives me a few other players we oh, have two games available damn look at you dude look at this guy two games available holy you let him cook. Uh, we got Otar Kit Jelly there. And then I could also maybe change the forward. Oh, Schaffelberger. Schaffelberger's got a better chance to start here than Yamada, I think. Oh, I don't really know. I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually captain uh, Kit Jelly. Um, I'm definitely not saying that name right. Uh, so that's cap 270. And then I do have a cap 220 rare team as well, which I probably should have used my zero goalkeeper in and gone for it. But I don't know. The rewards aren't that great. We go with David Marshall. We go with Fikayo Tamori. Excuse me. I got a hiccups today. I don't know why. Um, I swear I used one Bissaka somewhere as well. I've changed things up so much already. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, where is my boy for Kai tomorrow? He's got a really low L15 at the moment, actually. I just noticed Luke Shaw's getting low as well, which is nice for his return. Then we're going to go with... Uh, I did originally put Ryan Raposo, but I'm kind of tempted to go with uh cubas No, you know what? I'm going to stick with my guns and go with Raposo. Then we're going to go with uh, Buzat. Who's that? Boozat. Where are you? There we go. And the last one's going to be Joe Newell, who is uh, probably high up on the list. There you go. And we'll captain uh, Joe Newell as well in case he gets like a, I don't know, gets something, gets something on the score sheet. Uh, I think that's all my lineups now. I think. Is there a way to see your total number of lineups? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 18. I have 19 on here. Oh no, I have 18 on here. Ah. There you go. And then what do I have? What do I have left over in terms of training? What 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 do we have? So you're not gonna play, you're not gonna play. I mean Jason Steele might play. Um that's probably the only goalkeeper I have that might play. Maybe I can put together a little a really, really awful Premier League in season team. That's like div three. Um with Jason Steele. I mean, half these players aren't going to play really, are they? Uh, we'll go with Carl Walker. We'll go with a potential injured 11, shall we? Okay, no, that doesn't really work. I can't even do it. Maybe go with Classic. Classic. Div 3. Doesn't really matter anyway. I, I literally don't, don't think it matters. Uh, we'll go with Jason Steele. You know what? We'll go with Injury 11. Injury 11. People that probably won't play. Um, and we'll go with... Uh, Harry Maguire. Look at that. That is a... What a team that is. It's just easy doing that than training, and then I can add five training teams realistically. Um, but they're my lineups, basically. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing. I've got to with you. I've probably messed up. I probably made a ter terrible bunch of mistakes. I've got a few lineups that I think are good. I've got a few lineups that I think are terrible. I think some of the decisions I've made are definitely awful. Feel free to tell me I'm stupid, but I will beat you up if you do. Um, yeah, I just think like some decisions are probably good. Some decisions are probably bad. I. I'm a kind of person that learns from doing a lot of the time. So I will take on board what goes right and wrong and then hopefully learn from that for next week and then the week after and then the week after and so on and so forth. I mean, I literally learned so rare by trial and error. So I'm hoping the same sort of thing will happen. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and let me know what you guys are running as well, where your priorities are at and whatnot. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.